everybody, welcome back to a, another video. Uh, day two with the continuation of, well not day two, but just a continuation of a palette focus. Natasha Denona, Tropic Palette, obviously with maybe some gold. We shall see. So I watched the video, <clears throat> the other video I did. Uh, getting back into this is definitely going to be getting used to again, just because the way I did my eyes, it was driving me crazy. My setup, my camera, this, that. Bleh, bleh, bleh. So bear with me as I begin to get back into this. But without any further ado, we're getting back into the Tropic palette. And I think today I actually want to do a little bit of the green. So we shall see what I come up with. If I do the green, then I'm definitely using the gold. Don't know. We'll see. So let us get into it. And of course, priming the eyes with the Shadow Insurance by Too Faced. Just because I have it, need to go through it. And like I said before, my favorite was the Fenty Beauty. But I ran out of that one. And my all-time favorite, still to this day, is Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Alright, so nothing new here. Just prepping uh, the eyelid, putting the primer down. Yes, I like to put the eyeshadow primer down into my eyebrows. Just because. And then bringing it all the way out to here. Perfect. And then doing the other side. Nothing fancy. Just typical eyeshadow priming technique. And then we will get into the shadow. All right, so eyelids are prepped. And then I am going to go into exotic. Do I do is exotic first? We'll see. We'll just see how it goes. Or do I want to do lemon cello? Because this is lemon cello. Let's do exotic first. Dipping into exotic. Get a nice amount onto the brush. And then, how do I want to do this? Let me go ahead and just place it. All right. A smack dab in the middle. Of the eyelid. Bear with me. Yeah. And bring it down. Because I have an idea. Uh, definitely going to incorporate lemon cello for sure. Bring it down. And then bring it down this way. And then obviously getting the fluffy brush and just blending it out. On both sides. Actually, let me go in, get some on the blending brush. Perfect. And that's a firework. Great. And then let me just go go back and forth and just go ahead and even out the sisters. And then just like yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and do a flick of the wrist type of look. Uh, feline cat flick, whatever, dojo cat type of look. That's what I'm going to go with. And actually from there... I'm going to dip my finger, get a lemon cello, and put it in the inner corner. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I like that. I like where I'm going with this. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, she's nice. It is raining here and this is making me really miss the hot weather this is exotic okay let me go back into exotic and 
and just re-amplify the green. And then I'm back in with the blending brush. And then just blending everything out, making them look like twins or at least sisters with my eyelid space. Perfect. And then I'm actually going to run this right into my crease. Right under my brow bone. And then I'm going to go ahead and even both sides out and then I will be back for the continuation of the outer V. Alright, so this is where we are at so far. Hmm, got to get used because the camera is right there. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Got to get the angles. We know what side is my good side. Look at that jawline. All right. So now I'm going to dip into the gold palette with my liner brush. And I'm going to go into, I believe it is Python. Yep, Python. Which is going to be this deeper green. Oh, that is a gorgeous duochrome. That'll be for another time. Lime crime. Lime Chrome, lime chrome, whatever. Stay focused. So Python. And with this one, obviously gonna start from, how far out do I want it? At an angle and bring it down. Perfect. There we go. All right. Now let's make them look like sisters. Uh, so my right side's going to look adopted. Got it. Perfect. Just bring it down. They look like they're related. That's all that matters. Going in with my fluffy brush. Tap off the excess and then just go ahead and start blending it up. Should connect the corner. And then connect it here. And this is good because you could actually build it up. So this is a cream to matte formula, I believe. Let me double check. Cream to powder. And these are actually some of my favorite formulas just because of the fact that you can build it up to the type of intensity you want. And then, perfect. Just to really bring in that V and then bringing it under that corner, under the eyelid or that line right there. And this is why I always do my eyes first, because I put tape down, obviously just get more definite line. Some may say, if you're professional, why do you do that? Being a professional, you uh, become very resourceful, especially when your models show up late for shoots. And then you have literally about 10 minutes to do a full look. And the line has to be crisp, clean, and precise. So... Just blend it out on both sides. And this is where we're getting at so far. Gotta really get used to this setup. So, and then bring this side up just a little bit more. About right there. Making it connect right under the brow bone. Do I want to add black to this? We'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and blend them out, even them out, and then we'll be back for the continuation. 
and we shall see where this look is going to go. Now, mm, this is as close as it's going to get looking like twins. Ah, close enough. So now getting back into doing the brow bone area, I'm actually going to dip back into Lemoncello and do the same thing we did yesterday, or yesterday. Well, for me, it was yesterday. Last video where I actually took this, repacked it, and then just look at the list. So I'm going to use this as my brow highlight. And then just bringing it down. Tapping it in. Same thing with this side. Actually, just so it blends. And then tapping it down. There we go. There it is. Bob Ross, good old Ross, do some trees. We have a little mess up, we'll just make some trees. There we go. Perfect. Now let me go back in with Exotic on the blending brush. And then let's go in right along the brow bone going down just to add a little bit more of that shimmy shimmy add a little bit more everybody needs a little shimmy shimmy perfect there we go very elongated oof she's coming all right so let me go ahead and curl my lashes and put on my mascara and then we will be back with a continuation of finishing the bottom and the final look. So see you guys in a minute. All right, so this is where we are at so far. I went ahead and put on my base. Um, hmm. So for the bottom lash line, I am thinking, do I want to continue the green or do I want to continue with so I'm going back into the gold palette and we are actually going to use Log, which is this dark brown here. And where is my double-ended trusty? Yes. So getting with the brush like this. Tap off the excess and just go right along here. go and then there just get a little smoky effect and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of the melon cello and just go ahead and reintroduce that right into the corner Whatever's left over on the brush, just bring it over. There we go. Then I think for the waterline, I am going to go into Python. With my angle brush, if I can find it somewhere here. Uh, Uno Momento, as I get that. Should be right here. Seriously. Ah, okay. So, Python. Mm. And just bring it down and just literally right on the waterline. Oh, try not to blink. There we go. So let me go ahead and finish up the other eye, put everything on my face, and we will be back with the final look. Oh, I am digging this though, damn. I mean, I can't do it. <laughs>
All right, so I went ahead and did it both sides, or made them look like sisters. And I am actually going to go in and do my brows. So for my brows, I literally just used uh, Buck Eyeshadow from Urban Decay. And let's see if I can do this. Just literally just fill them in. Because I actually like more of a natural looking brow. Especially when I do a lot of my shoots and natural lighting. Everything has to look very, very seamless. And just fill them in as much as I possibly can. And then once I fill them in to how much I want them to be filled in, basically. Take the end of the spoolie and just run it through. Just to evenly dis to disperse the products. And that is how I do my brows. Uh, here we go. And just, and that is kind of why I will just run the eyeshadow primer up into my brows. Perfect. Brows are on. Awesome. And then I'm going to put on the rest of my face and we will see the final look and I will be right back. All right. So here is the final look. Um... I went ahead and put uh, a little bit of the lemoncello right in the middle of the lips to give a little bit of that poutiness. So obviously this is what it looks like with the ring light on. With it off, natural lighting, gorgeous, gorgeous, we like, who is she, where is she going, and yeah. So, hope you guys like it, enjoyed it. So, uh, that is Tropic Palette with a little bit of the gold. Mm -hmm. So, another video, Tropic Palette with the green, Lemoncello. Still got a few more, a lot more actually. Because <clears throat> I want to play with the mattes, strictly the mattes, um, stuff like that. So, I am excited, especially with the pastel, a little bit of the pastel, we'll do something creative editorial. So, final look, hope you guys enjoyed it, just smeared my foundation. Um, so, many more videos to come, I actually want to add a little bit more blush, and I'm actually using the Trist, Hot Trist, Trist, the Hot Trist palette, and going in with this cool Amavi blush color and then um you guys get to see the final look of it edited and everything on my instagram i actually really haven't been contouring lately because i've been using blush as a contour so uh, hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys liked it many more videos to come obviously and then yes we like Hot. Strut. Strut. I need a haircut. <laughs> Alright, enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun.